Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and ever since Huawei released the new P30 series, you guys and gals have been asking for a video for the little brother of the trio, the Huawei P30 Lite, and it's finally arrived at Unbox HQ. This mid-range device is priced at 16,990 pesos, has a familiar processing package and of course, triple rear cameras. With the intro out of the way, let's take the phone out of its packaging. Okay, so here it is, finally the Huawei P30 Lite. As you can see, our review unit came in the classic midnight black color variant, but should have two other color variants which are pearl white and peacock blue that's a lot like the twilight purple that we saw on Nova devices from last year. In terms of design, it's pretty close to its quote-unquote older siblings with a curved glass back and that triple camera array with a slight bump which is easily made level by putting on that included jelly case. By the way, some of you have been requesting to see what the phones look like with a case on. So here it is without it. And here it is with a case, but we'll be taking it right off again for the rest of this video. For the button and port layout, you have the power button and volume rocker on the right side. They feel nice, tactile and well put together, no wobbling of any sort. On the top, you have access to the P30 Lite's hybrid SIM tray. So you will have to make the choice between a secondary number or more storage. And on the bottom are the headphone jack, speaker grill, and the USB Type-C port. We're pretty sure that some of you are giving the nod of approval because of that. You've got a capacitive fingerprint scanner on the back of the phone which unlocks the device quite quickly and looks to have a very small margin of error. And of course, as we mentioned, the triple camera array that's tucked nicely on the upper left-hand corner of the phone. We'll talk about the cameras more a little later. Up front is a 6.15 inch full HD plus TFT display at a resolution of 1080 by 2312 that gives you a pixel density of 415 pixels per inch. Everything looks nice and crisp with color accuracy that you typically expect out of panels of this type. It should still make for great content consumption though we did notice that the sound from the speaker can sound a little tinny and mostly dominated by piercing highs. On top of the display is a small dew drop notch that houses the phone's front camera and it should go without saying by now but just in case you aren't familiar with Huawei devices, you can easily hide the notch behind black bars if you aren't into it. Under the hood of the P30 Lite is Huawei's current mid-range processor of choice, the Kirin 710. We've seen this chipset in a couple of devices in the past but this time it's been paired with more RAM at 6GB and a ton of storage at 128GB. Now the benchmark scores out of the box might not be as impressive, but you can turn on performance mode to give it a boost, though doing so will sacrifice some of the phone's endurance. From my experience, the Kirin 710 is more than capable of handling day-to-day -day tasks and gaming, which we will be doing a more extensive look at, so if you guys really want to see how it handles some of your favorite games, then sub to the channel. For its OS, you're getting Android Pie out of the box with EMUI 9 on top of it as well. Let's circle back to those rear cameras. As I mentioned, the Huawei P30 Lite has three on the back, which consists of a 24 megapixel main camera at f1.8, an eight megapixel wide angle camera at f2.4, and a two megapixel depth sensor. And no, there's no Leica branding here. Let's take a look at a couple of sample photos. As you can see, images taken with great lighting come out pretty good. It is a Huawei device, so expect some AI magic but it can be a tad too aggressive at times, so you might want to toggle it on and off with a few safety shots to see what you prefer before posting. The P30 Lite also has night mode, which we will have to play with a little bit more. 
For taking selfies, you have a 32 MP front camera at an aperture of f2.0. Huawei's selfie game has been getting a lot better with each new release, and you can definitely tell with the P30 series. We'll reserve our final thoughts on the shooters for our full review, but let us know what you think about the samples so far. Keeping the lights on for the P30 Lite is a 3340 mAh battery that should give you at least a day's worth of juice in our experience, but mileage may vary depending on your use case scenario. Again, the P30 Lite is priced at 16,990 pesos, making it the most affordable out of the P30 series. You can pre-order this phone until April 12, which leaves you with a couple of days to decide, and it will come with a selfie stick plus a Bluetooth speaker to sweeten the pot. There's a link in the description that will take you to the pre-order details for the entire P30 series. So we'll be taking the Huawei P30 Lite through our usual review process so you guys can make a more informed decision on whether or not to purchase it or not. But I will have a gaming review up in the next couple of days. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and make sure you hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss out on the next ones. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to unbox.ph+. Follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time.